The Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BSF Canada and Invigor Hybrid Canola. Just Canola School Series. I'm Kara Oosterhouse. I have here with me Sean Sanko, and we are in southern Saskatchewan. And Sean is with the Canola Council of Canada. And we are here to talk about seed safety and, and seed safety, especially when it comes to putting your fertilizer down. Do you want to do you want to tell me what your messaging is there? Yeah, it's just being really cautious. Um, canola is um, very sensitive to any um, seed placed fertilizer. And really, the only um, nutrient you need with the canola seed uh, at the time of seeding is FOSS. You know, it's, it's got that early season uptake. Um, you know, it doesn't move very far. So having it close to the proximity to the seed is, it, it's really the only nutrient we need that for. So, um, you know, that, that's key. We always say that uh, try and save that spot for the, the FOSS only. So why, talk about how environmental conditions can play into seed safety too. Yeah, so, you know, there, there are published seed safety charts, but those are usually on what we call average moisture conditions. So um, the more moisture, um, the, the safer it is to, for seed place fertilizer. And, you know, we can see really varying conditions. We can see um, the topsoil dry out after seeding. So, um, you know, every year I've got um, calls on poor canola um, emerge stands. And it's, it's due to seed place fertilizer and, you know, the grower in the past has put that exact same blend down and hasn't had an issue, but environmental conditions have changed and now suddenly it's dry and um, the seed safety just isn't there in that, that year. And, and talk about how something like drought can actually be unforgiving when it comes to maybe something you've always done and, and now you realize that that's not quite working. Yeah, it, um, the seed safety just drops completely with, um, with drought. So when you've got those dry soils, um, the canola is much more sensitive. So, uh, you know, when you're when you're looking at um, dry conditions, you you really need to to go down lower levels of that um, that seed place boss. And we know with canola, like the removal rates are going to be roughly um, uh, our uptake rates will be a, a bushel per a, a pound per bushel of canola. So there's no way we can get that with the um, in the seed row. So you you need to split it out at any time anyway. So it's best to have just those low rates with the seed and have the, the rest of your FOSS in with the, the rest of the blend. And talk about taking a, a test strip when you're seeding and, and the importance of that. Yeah, so if, um, you know, it, it, and it's really easier, especially newer tanks now is, if you're pushing that blend or you're not sure if you're safe, um, just shut that tank off, that seed, uh, seed placed fertilizer tank for 100 feet somewhere in the field. Um, go back after it's emerged and do some plant counts and see you know, am I doing any damage? Am I losing plant stand to, um, to seed place fertilizer? Then you'll know in subsequent years, do I need to make some changes? Um, and it, it's important to do this over different years because as we mentioned, one year you might get away with a, a high rate of um, fertility and in a dryer year you might not. So it's a really simple, easy way and it, it tells you a lot of things. And you're likely putting FOSS down with your seed. Do you want to talk about what that FOSS burn could look like? It looks a lot like um, drought, like, uh, you know, it's simply desiccating that seed out. So when you um, start digging, you, you might see the seed um, is cracked and started to germinate and then it's just um, died off. So it, it'll look a lot like um, like drought. And, you know, it, it's, if you have that strip, it's nice to see the, you know, was it actually drought or was it the seed place fertilizer? You can compare where you had fertilizer and where you didn't. 